Friends, I'm Jimmy LaRose. And I'm Red Fern Dews. And welcome again to The Fundraising Farmer. You know, as executives and volunteers and board members, you know, the question could be going through our mind, are we really making a difference? You know, what is it that gets you up in the morning to serve that next person? You know, and instead of deciding that each individual that we serve needs to become the next president of the United States, what if we measure our success not in how a person responds, but rather in how we bear up the load? Are you committed to load bearing every day? I know that you are. And it's in our commitment to serve another individual, to bear up underneath them. That's where we can know we're doing the right thing and we're doing a great job. You know, I have a dear friend here in Redfern. He's going to share an important story. Red? Jimmy, this is my story, and this is why I get up. I was six years old in first grade. First grade, I remember it well. It was September, because that August, my dad died. And we lived in public housing, and it was the end and the beginning of my world. I was in first grade. We had no money. My mother was poor. We were poor. And I didn't even know it because I just wasn't worldly aware. But I sat in first grade, and all the emotions going on, my dad's death, and I sat on the back row and I couldn't see the board. I just couldn't see it. And the teacher noticed that I couldn't see the board and so she moved me up just a little bit halfway in the class and I still squinted. I still couldn't see it. And eventually ended up on the front row. Still couldn't see the board. And my teacher decided that I needed glasses. I needed to be able to see. And so she called my mother in and began to tell her that I needed glasses so that I could perform in school. But I just couldn't see. And my mother started crying. I mean, the teacher and my mother, I was sitting in the chair and they were talking over me. They were just talking about me. And my mother started crying uncontrollably. Not only did I need glasses, I needed clothes, I needed shoes. We needed everything. But to be successful in school, I needed glasses. And the, and the teacher said, well, we'll take him and get him some glasses. And my mother said, but we don't have the money. She said, no, we'll get his glasses. And they took me to the biggest crook in town. Dr. Crook, an optometrist, and, and he gave me a pair of glasses. And I remember sitting in there trying them on, and I was thinking that I didn't like that particular kind of glasses. I wanted a different style of glasses, but first grade, I couldn't make the decision. But I got the glasses, and it changed my life. I went through elementary school, junior high school, and I graduated from the all-American, internationally renowned Booker T. Washington High School, and I graduated top of my class, and I scored 1400 on the college board. I got a free scholarship, a full ride to the University of South Carolina and nine other colleges, but the university is the one I went to because it's the only one I knew about. But my life was incredibly different and changed because of one pair of glasses and one person who cared. That's what I call load bearing. And so I work with the United Way now. And they have one program that I have to participate in, where if you've lost your job, if you lost your way, if you somehow run into circumstances where you can't buy your child a pair of glasses, the United Way will provide a pair of glasses for your child. And so what happened to me, I'm highly motivated by to bear the load for someone else because I've been around the world. I have ministries in Africa and Asia, Pakistan, Sri Lanka. We, we're all over the world, even the UK. But it would have all been at loss behind one pair of glasses. Is it worth it to get up this morning and go into the office for just one person? To raise the money for just one pair of glasses? Well, you know, these kindnesses, these mercies, if you will, these tender mercies, I think it's worth it. And I think it goes a long way. Thanks for being part of the nonprofit movement. Thanks for being part of our family. You're our heroes. I'm Jim Lee Rose, and thanks for joining us on The Fundraising Farmer.